Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, yeah, so today we're actually going to go and get the ice wood. I, I do apologize about yesterday's uh, little snafu uh, snap mistake. Um, but yeah, we need to buy more plots, and we don't have any money. And it's kind of hard whenever you're doing it in solo. So it's just going to be a little, little bit more of the ice run. And why are we doing the ice run? Because the ice trees have the most to give. They've got the, the most oomph for their buck. The, the most bang for their buck. They've got... Oh, I, the, the most, most money. Oh, oh, come on. I don't know. Do I need to wait until these finish falling down? I mean, I don't... I don't think it... Ooh, okay. We just had a little bit of a delay there. That's all. Ooh, back it up. Boom. Oh no. Oh no. No, that's not good. Hold on. Let's just get through. Let's just get through. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh no. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to place, I want to rotate. There we go. But while I rotate, I'm going to grab this and put this over here. That way you don't lose it. I should be able to jump back in the truck. We're just going to do a rotate turn. There we go. Whoo, got out of there. Okay, so. For those of you that have never seen this channel before, hi, my name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I do Roblox videos and I play Lumber Tycoon 2 a lot and I do um, basically commentary with gameplay in the background. So it's not really about the gameplay per se, it's more or less the, uh, the idea that I'm going to be sitting here talking the entire time. Um, if you'll notice, uh, I will point out a couple of things that are different about my video. I don't edit. Um, the reason I don't edit is because I found the screaming and the cuts and the the movie magic about it. Like, don't get me wrong. I would love to have time to sit down and do some cool flashy edits and some transitions and maybe some memes on the screen. You know, that's, that's kind of cool stuff, but it doesn't feel natural. It feels forced. And if you'll watch, Everybody who does videos on YouTube that's does Roblox videos and stuff like that, you always see like the highlights. You never see this boring stuff of like riding up the, the, the ramp. Like like this right here. This is the full time that it'd actually take you to go and get icewood. But in other videos you might see somebody start on their base and then all of a sudden they're like over at this part and you'll see a little a little thing and then they're up there at the top and it's like what happened well a lot of people just don't have the attention span or they don't have the time of day to uh, go through all of that so what I do is I like to do the entire video unedited so you can see all the crazy stuff that happens during the video by the way that was complete skill there was no luck in that hashtag skills in the uh, in the comments section please but that's, that's what I do, is I, I play the entire game, the entirety of everything without edits. And I've gotten used to it. So uh, a lot of people will cut out the dead air, the um, space in between, and I don't. I just continue to talk the entire time, which is also one of the reasons that I drink so much coffee. Other than like my ADHD, and that's, that's one of the main reasons I drink the coffee, but ooh, that little tree is like, stop. <clears throat> just grabbed onto my wheel but no that's that's the main reason so um, the other reason for my non edit is time um, because I don't edit and because you get the full straight gameplay I can go straight from the recording and pop it into uh, the upload so there's no there's no downtime to wait for it to edit and then to re-render and all that good stuff um, it's one of my preferred methods. It's just gotten really fast. So that's what I like to do. 
I don't know. How many trees do we need to take home this time? Like all of them? I guess we could do all of them. All the ones that are up here. I don't know how much the, uh, the little trees actually matter, but every little bit. No tree left behind. No man left behind. That's a big one. That's a big tree right there. I mean, it doesn't look like it from, from the side, but if you look at it, that's, that's a massive tree. Like, if, go up to a normal tree and, and stare up at it. And if you have to stare up at the tree, then it is a tall tree. Now, for, for most of my fan base, you're, you're mostly smalls. Small. So, uh, that's most trees. Unless it's like a bonsai tree. And then it'd be a little tree. But, you know. We're not debating on what kind of tree it is. Just most trees are taller than us. Most trees are taller than me, by the way. I, I, if you didn't know, <laughs> I'm only 6'2". And for those of you that don't know the, the measurement skill, that's pretty tall. 6'2 is a, is a tall boy. So, And my keto is going well. I'm still, still on the keto diet. I'm down to, what was it, 237, 238 this morning? Almost 237. So, and I still get to eat the bacon and the fats and all the goodness that comes with the completely unhealthy diet. I didn't even know that keto, the, the way it worked or what it was. I thought, oh, it's like the low carb diet. It's like the paleo diet. And I didn't understand what people were talking about, like low carbs, low, low sugars, blah, blah, blah. Right. I've always heard of like diet soda, which doesn't have, doesn't have sugar in it. It's just got like a sweet and low or a sweetener, not sponsored. And it, it finally, when I started doing the research, I found out what it was. So I'm just going to like give my take on what the keto diet actually is. Human bodies will run off two different things. We'll run off fat and we can run off of um, carbs or sugars. Now, most humans nowadays are completely carb carb based you, your entire diet usually consists of carbs it's also like having a well-balanced diet with your starches and your sugars and your blah 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 right well yes and at the same time no um our ancestors um whenever we were still neanderthals or um like cavemen right we didn't have the ability to create our own bread. We didn't know that you could take wheat and smash it up and turn it into these breads. So the most things that they ate were uh, vegetables. Uh, well, not even vegetables, because they weren't really gather. They weren't really farmers yet. They were gatherers. So you, like little things like berries and uh, stuff like that. Stuff that didn't make us sick. But mostly animal fats and meat. That's what we ran off of. And our body is actually still adapted to do so. So the keto diet, basically you take everything in your carb tank, in your fuel tank of carbs, and you empty it out. You don't let your body have any carbs. The, uh, the maximum carb limit I have set for my keto diet, which isn't everyone's keto diet. You can do low carb diet, which would be 22 grams of fat per day. 22 would be the max. You could not go over it. So that's uh, that's what low carb means. I set mine down to 15. So I'm allowed 15 grams of uh, carbs per day. So if I take a little bite of like a piece of chocolate or something like that, that's fine. But it's not, I can't have like a chocolate bar, right? But I can have all the mayonnaise I want. That's just straight fat. So, it's good too. <laughs> For my lunches, I'll take a, a can of tuna, uh, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and a tablespoon of um, mustard. And then I'll throw it in a big old bowl. And I'll, I'll like mix it with lemon juice. And then uh, I'll salt it up real good. That way I get my, my sodiums stuff like that oh and by the way a lot of people on keto diets don't take additional vitamins I found these like one a day gummies for men oh they're so good 
I get like a little treat in the morning, but it's actually vitamins. Yeah, I'm Flintstones kids. We're building strong and growing. <clears throat> Man, that is an old commercial. Where'd that come from? Anyhow, that's what the keto diet is. Is um, basically I can eat eggs, I can eat bacon, a lot of bacon, I can have pork rinds, um, fats, a lot of fats, and it's not that hard either. Like I thought. Oh man, the family's gonna go out to Burger, uh, not Burger King. The family's gonna go out to McDonald's tonight. I can't get anything, it's gonna suck. Wrong! I can totally go up there and I can get a uh, double quarter pounder with cheese, add bacon and lettuce, no bun. No mustard, no ketchup, or no. No bun, no ketchup, no onions, right? And I don't think it comes with onions, but. Oh, did you see that stack right there? Skills! Oh my gosh, that was that was awesome. So that's what I did. As um, I have very nice meals. That dude, that's just barely balanced on there. Mm, and I eat a lot of fat, which is completely contrary to what my health teachers used to say. They're like, stay away from fats. Don't eat fats. And I'm like, my diet is fat. Like I eat pure fat. <laughs> Literally, if I'm low on my fat intake for the day, I've got this little thing called Carb Manager. No shout out, no no sponsorship, but the Carb Manager, that's the one that I set my own m macros with. The macros are the, the fat, the protein, and the carbs. So what I did is um, if I'm low, I will actually eat straight vegetable oil. Sure, it's probably not healthy, but come on, it's still fun. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go! Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, man. I didn't think it was gonna last, but that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know if we can take this all at one time. We might be able to. Who knows? Here, turn the lights on. Turn the lights down low. And listen to some of the other radio. Or something, something like that. Old Ray Stevens song. Ray Charles. No, it's Ray Stevens. Ray Stevens used to be down in Branson. Uh, which is really close to Springfield. Well, not really close, but like it's close. Have you guys ever been to Branson? A anybody? With all the shows, Highway 86, stuff like that. That is a that is a nightmare to try and get through. Well, if you don't know, it's a it's a bunch of uh, entertainments and shows. So, hey, huge shout out to my dad. Hi, dad. I know he's watching my videos and stuff, so. Just wanted to say I love you, and I was thinking about you just now, because we were talking about Branson. But, he's usually in the comments down below if you guys wanted to go say hi to my dad. Dwayne Haskins. He's old. Be nice. No memes. Of course, a lot of people are calling me old now, too. Oh, uh, my cousin sent me some old videos of whenever we were kids. Like, super old. Like eight millimeter no sound old. I was a baby. I was a baby. In an itty bitty basket. And it was Christmas. And Jason was small too. That's my other cousin. Anyhow. Um, I realized that I never, I, I hadn't told any of my family that we're moving. We are moving. <laughs> hey guys, sorry. Kind of a last minute surprise to everyone. You're what? Yeah, yeah. We haven't gotten together for quite some time. I mean, normally that would be something I would save for like one of our get togethers. But COVID kind of, kind of has us at a disadvantage for everything. Uh, am I sad? No, not really. Um, 
And this is no offense to my family, and this is no offense to like anyone. We don't see our family. Look, we live um, fairly relatively close, but we just don't talk. You know, and it's it's felt like that ever since my mom passed away. Um, if you've ever watched my five thousand sub, six thousand sub special, the Draw My Life special, that's kind of where. I drifted apart from the family. And I think it was mainly in part because of my mom. And because of that, I just don't hang out with cousins, you know? I don't know. It's a thought, it's a a thing that happens. So, I just kind of leave it alone. I mean, we talk on Facebook and stuff. Every once in a while, we'll send messages like, hey, how you doing? Hey, guys, I heard, heard you got the COVID. Or how, you, how Are you recovered? Stuff like that. But I mean, in passing, it's, it's not too much. Um, once we move, we're going to be near uh, a bunch of my wife's family. And I've already gotten to hang out with them and have fun and everything else. It's it's much different. So I can just I can just tell. Once we Once we get over there, it will be fun. It's scary, moving. There's a lot of stuff I need to get rid of, you know? And we have been. I've, I've made huge leaps and bounds on the garage. So, I think, I th think, ooh, this will be good overall. It, it'll be good for the kids, it'll be good for me, it'll be good for the wife. <sighs> and, um, just so everybody knows, I had made an agreement with my wife. I, I asked her, give me my first child and two years here in Springfield, Missouri. After that, we can go and move and be anywhere you like. Just give me the two years here and my first kid. And sure enough, 17 years later, she's, okay, can we move now? Sure. Where do you want to go? And we've discussed other places. We've, uh, and I haven't said where, and there's a reason why I'm, I'm not saying where, but, um, we have discussed many places, a ton of different places that we would like to go. And we always keep coming back to the same place. And that's where all the family is in the same place all the time. So I finally said this time, I said, you know what? Let's just, let's move back here. Let's move back here and be done with it. Cause we know this is where we want to be. We've looked at Denver, Colorado. We've looked at Washington. We've looked at Florida. Like there are tons of places where we could go. And every single time, it's it's always back at the same place, back home for her. So, stop fighting. It's time. And Dad's coming with us. I discussed it with him. Um, we will. We will. I was looking for uh, apartments and stuff because currently he's he's living in an apartment and fairly like super cheap rent for. Uh, where he's at and the commodities that he's got and stuff like that. But I figured we could probably find an even nicer place for a little bit less in the place that we're going. So, oh, and I did, I, I found a couple of places, but we'll discuss. We just gotta find, we have to find a nice big party home. Cause I want to have all the family over. I want to have Sunday family luncheons and big Christmas parties, you know? But what about COVID? Well, down the road, down the road. Look into the future. And hopefully COVID doesn't transition over to zombieism. You know, not that I would complain about zombies, just saying. <sighs> let's not, let's not do it this year, okay? Not this year. Oh, have I blocked myself out of my truck? Oh, oh. Okay. 
I don't think I missed any, did I? That's some awesome stacking skills. Just, just saying. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and I want to stay back a little bit. Just so whenever I explode the TNT, I'm firing the laser. There was a, a thing somebody posted. It said, tell me you play Roblox without actually telling me you play Roblox. And I wrote back, oof. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Right, close that. Can I? Whoa. We're just gonna drag you behind, okay? Hang on. Hang on to Humphrey. Humphrey's hanging off the back again. Oh no, Humphrey, no. Humphrey and June, you both fell off the back. No, don't let us go. I don't know, I'm June, I just thought of a random name. <clears throat> Don't fall anymore. Don't fall anymore. The physics are going crazy. They they don't know what to do. Like all these models and no room to breathe. Do, 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 do. Jump boom. Stay. Stay. Here. And just in case, we're gonna we're gonna get you out of here. Okay? Shh. Quiet, 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 quiet. Shh. There you go. Ooh, now it's like really stuck. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. That is not slow or sturdy. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to speed it. Speed run it. No explosions. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go. Wait, wait for it. Boom! <laughs> that'll, that'll work. That'll work. That'll do, code, that'll do. How long are we? 23 minutes. Can we actually record it without realizing the time that's passing by? That's crazy. Have you guys ever noticed that when you're having fun and you're like talking, it just time slows down or not, not, not slows down. It's like time speeds up. Wait, do we only drop one? <gasps> Did the other one disappear? Did it freak out? Where's June? Humphrey. That's not Humphrey. Humphrey. No, that's not Humphrey. Hold on. We have to go find Humphrey now. Travis, what are you doing falling off the back of the truck? code the only person who names the wood when he cuts it down and your name's Bill <clears throat> Boop. okay well um I should probably make like a bin or something shouldn't I something to hold the the wood wood If I push this stuff off to the side, then when new wood comes out, it should fall off this direction. Right? Right. I think. Who knows? We'll just chop it. We'll have fun. Dude! <laughs> that piece straight up said, yeet, I want to be a, a piece of wood. That's awesome. Hold on, that, that didn't fit though. It went through the right way, it, went, it had the right idea, it just wasn't able to turn into a big one. There you go, buddy. Turn into a little one. Ugh. So now it's just gonna be me chopping for the next five minutes, isn't it? I wonder if I can get this uh, 
done in five minutes. What are you doing down there? Why are you chopping at like the wrong end? Okay, fine. We'll chop down here. I get very concentrated whenever I'm I'm just chopping wood, you know? How many of you actually stayed for the, the rest of this video? Like, how many of you are actually here participating inside the lumber? I need a comment down below. Comment, uh, it's me, hashtag Rookie, R-U-K-I. It's me, hashtag Rookie. That way I can tell if you're actually active and watching the video or not. If I'm in the background or something like that, uh, pause your stuff for just a second. Make sure you come over and comment. It's me, hashtag Rookie. That way I know. And that will be at 26 minutes. It's right there at the end. What? Code, why would we want to do something like that? Well, I don't know. For fun? Analytics? I mean, I, I got analytics. So I can tell that most of you, or like 60% of you, are not subbed. Or 80%? 80, 80, 80%? Yeah. Which falls into the normal business stack category, 60-80, or uh, what, 60-20, 80-20. 80 80% of your business comes from 20% of your customers. And what that means is like, you'll have loyal customers who come in and they'll, they'll purchase from you constantly. Like, they're the ones that like, like your brand and like your, your stuff. And, then you've got your customers who are one-offs. They'll, they'll come in for like a single purchase. They'll come in for a single shopping trip, you know? And that's not really the, like you want to try and persuade them to come back again, but that's not really your target audience. Your target audience, like for me, my fans will come back again and again and again and always uh, be here as a fan, but there's that other 10%, that 20%, oh uh, no, the other 80% who just tried to look up a, a lumber video or they got sent here somehow. And those are the ones that I'm trying to get to become fans. If this is your first time watching and you've never subbed to me before, I highly ask that you try the sub. And you know what, if you don't like it later on, you can always unsub. You can always unhit the notification bell, stuff like that. But I'm telling you, it's a it's a good channel. It's a nice channel. It's a channel you'll want to be here for. The kind that you'd bring home to mom. In fact, moms, if you're out there and you're watching, that's that's what this channel is. It is a family-friendly channel for everyone of all ages. In fact, moms, if you wanted to, to bring this channel home to grandma, grandma, she could watch it. And I don't, I don't know if, am I too disrespectful for grandmas? Maybe? I don't know. I'm sure grandma would like me too. And that's not me being conceited. I just like grandmas. I think they're cool. Does everybody, like, I lost my grandma whenever I was seven, nine years old. I was in second grade, Mrs. Long's class. I remember breaking down and crying on my paper just because I'd missed my grandma. I didn't get to see my grandpa's funeral. I was I was like three years old, but I do remember going to grandma's funeral. And that was the first time that I'd seen somebody who had passed away for the visitation and stuff like that. Um, and just, it felt, I felt bad. I felt so bad. I had to tell myself, they're just sleeping because I, I don't think I could process what had actually happened. But that's life. That's what happens. So, and we shouldn't be afraid to talk about that. You know, I shouldn't tippy toe around it or, or anything because it's a natural part of being a human being is, is death. And it's okay to talk about. Like, and this is gonna make a lot of my fans upset, but Eventually, someday, I will die. I am not immune to the fact, I, I'm not 
so naive to think that I've got immortality. My days are numbered and they will come up sometime, but you know what? I have something amazing that I'm leaving behind. This video and all the videos before it. And I'm also leaving a legacy, my children, my wife, my house, and all, all my belongings. They, they'll, my, my children will eventually pass away too, and, and my wife will eventually pass away, but the legacy of like the message that I bring here to you will probably, it will most likely outlive me. And I feel good about that. I feel happy about that. So, it's something I have given to the world, and I hope that the world will accept it. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they can be cruel and they can be mean, and that's something that I've learned to accept. You know? Not everybody likes the channel. Some people dislike the channel because I'm so wholesome. And then they'll turn around and try and make their actions justifiable by, like, trying to justify themselves inside the comments of being mean. But you know what? You're not. You're just as, as messed up as the rest of us. And you're trying to justify your actions by making yourself feel good. So, you've already lost. But, that's not to say, like, they're a bad person. They just misunderstood. That's all. I'm talking about haters in the comments. And they happen sometimes. Sometimes it just happens. Girls happens. I wish the world were a nicer place. I wish I could tell everyone, yeah, yeah, there's, there are no bullies. But this world is not perfect. And that's okay. I think being not perfect is what makes it so good to be in. Are we done yet? <laughs> I just realized I'm at 32 minutes. I have gone over my time. So like always, I'm gonna have to leave it off here and then go process and sell all this stuff. And it's already late. Like I, I, got, a, I got a late start tonight and I was not expecting to be up this late trying to record. So there's that. Hold on, we can get rid of that other one too. Okay, should I, should I just keep recording? Just keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I mean, I could, but then again, yes, but no. Hmm. No, that is a lot of wood, okay. I'll get it all planked out and sold off, and next time we will purchase another plot and continue on for them there. So, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. It's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Outro, outro, outro. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.